How's it going guys, this is Jim here, welcome back to a new video, I'm bringing you another Halo Mega Bloks mock. Now I haven't done one of these in uh, quite a while, so um, yeah, they're pretty popular as well as the stop motion uh, videos obviously, they're the most popular on my channel. But um, yeah, so this one is called Arctic Ambuscade, and if you don't know what Ambuscade means, it's basically a synonym for uh, ambush. So. There you go. So I've separated out all the parts to this set. There is the uh, Mongoose, there is the Hornet, and then there is the other things over here that you get with the set. So let's start with this Mongoose. So I made another video recently on this, uh, so go check that out, and that will go into full detail of everything in this. And uh, hopefully sometime soon I'll show you how to build this, because it's actually not too hard to build. But uh, you do need various random pieces that you have uh, maybe got off other sets. Uh, or just lying around anywhere, because I know most of these I got off sets like uh, the Mantis, the um, Hornet, the actual Dungus that this came from. Um, I got the the wheels off the NMPD Cruiser, and uh, just just a bunch of other stuff. So um, yeah, watch that other other video, and that will go into more detail about this. But yeah, it's a lot taller than uh, obviously. Uh, the usual uh, Gungus you get. Here's a comparison to the figure. It is uh, quite a bit bigger, but um, you know, I think it looks pretty cool. The wheels definitely are quite cool, and it's the shape they sort of are. Maybe the wheels are a bit too big, but uh, like the actual tires could be bigger uh, and thicker. But um, yeah. Right. So I've actually had to turn my uh, camera light on because um, it's hard to see sort of with my uh, lamp that I'm using, but. Uh, yeah, this thing's pretty huge, and I've added a lot to it. So obviously, it's your standard Hornet that you get with. Uh, it's a, I think it's the NMPD Hornet actually, but I've removed everything NMPD like. Uh, obviously, apart from the white, which is one of the NMPD colors, but obviously this is like an Arctic set. So um, yeah, originally uh, I had this bit round the opposite way, and it kind of looked cool. And I was gonna call it something different other than Hornet because. I thought it looked pretty cool, but uh, people might be complaining, and also there's clearly a gap right through there, so yeah, I think we'll just keep it at this. Anyway, while we're at it, I'm just gonna, oh, just gonna show inside here. Nothing much inside, it's just the little area for the uh, pilot to sit, and then there's just a little red stud, and like uh, the sort of temperature gauze or meter or something like that. Oh, hello. But, <laughs> yeah, so... That's, that's that. Uh, then we've just got, obviously, all the other little uh, plating pieces and stuff. So at the very front here, um, we have a little sort of spotlight. I, I say this is a spotlight, but that's kind of what it is. You can say it's a gun if you want, but uh, here we have the main turret. You can see, you can just turn it around. It doesn't actually move. This one moves. This one doesn't. But, um, yeah, that's one of the central turrets in the set. So let's move further up. So the two actual rotor bits and the wings are just the same, nothing new about those. It's actually uh, further down here. So uh, obviously I've added a bunch of new pieces. It actually looks quite nice. A few little C3 pieces there and there. And then mainly just, uh, you know, white pieces for the Arctic theme, obviously, all the way across. A couple of stickers. Uh, this piece, which I really like, uh, out the back. And uh, yeah, definitely makes the Hornet look a bit better. So obviously you're going to be wondering, on this side there's nothing here apart from this little uh, like lever thing which is supposed to be like a little antenna. Over here we have this awesome turret. Uh, this thing actually, you know, can be moved up and down, this can be it when it's not being used, and then you can use this here for quick access and it can flick up and stuff. Um, so this is like the other main uh, turret in the set, so I really like this. Yeah, it's got pretty good angles, it can't actually turn left and right, but... Uh, obviously you can use this one to turn left and right down here if you want it to act as a turret. And obviously there's other things, spoilers, in the set that can, you know, access uh, the left and right if uh, your Hornet was under attack. So, uh, yeah, let's um, get to the back of this set and then we'll leave the sides to uh, last. Right. Ugh. Right, let's get a better view. Okay, so here's the back to this Hornet. Obviously, you can see I've added a bunch of nice uh, pieces here, just like flat pieces, uh, bits of tiles, and uh, a little grating piece here all the way across. Let me show you that a bit better. 
Uh, there are grating pieces over here as well, and then just a single piece over there. I'll show that in a minute. And then we've just got several other little pieces. Let me move my camera down, like uh, studs and stuff. Now, the reason there's two studs here is because uh, you get a crate that comes with a set. I'll talk about that in a second. But what you can actually do is uh, you can attach... There we go. You can attach the crate to the back of the Hornet. So this Hornet can actually, you know, be used as a, a cargo Hornet because obviously it can actually carry cargo. Uh, and obviously in the actual Hornet, you... Oh, 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 go, oh, oh I just took a stud off. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, as I was saying, in the actual uh, Hornet, uh, LMPD Hornet, you don't actually get this long piece across here, like the bridge, sort of like a little bridge at the back. Um, so I added that piece in. There's also a piece here if you want to add any other, uh, you know, custom uh, bits to cling on to that if you want to have weapons to hang or anything. You're obviously going to need the little piece like a hand, sort of this shape, uh, to click your uh, weapons in. And speaking of weapons, up above here, we actually have, oh, this is hard to see, but um, we actually have two of those pieces I was talking about, like the little claw pieces uh, there and there. And here we actually have, let's flip it out, we actually have a, oh, and I just pulled that off. We actually have a uh, riot shield up there, and uh, over here we have an assault rifle. Please don't come off, there we go. We have an assault rifle just clinging on, so you can attach that on there as well. Sorry guys, this is really hard to do one-handed. You may notice up here, there's also another one of these little pieces and a sniper rifle is attached to it. Okay, so the final uh, two bits on this Hornet is the sides. Uh, we actually have little mini spotlights here. They are just attached to the railings. We actually also have uh, these little cyan studs that you'll see throughout. Uh, there's one up here. Uh, there's also one down there and one over there and also one there. So they're scattered throughout this set because it's sort of like cyan, silver, black, and white, uh, and grey, if you want to count that as colour. That are the main sort of colours in this whole set. So um, yeah, just a little spotlight there. You've also got a little uh, stud piece here in case you want to attach a weapon or have a figure stand there. Uh, spe uh, speaking of uh, attaching weapons, if we spin this round, here we actually have uh, one of the rocket launchers from Halo 5, obviously. Um, attached here. Uh, I've actually customized this uh, rocket launcher. You may notice uh, when you get the rocket launchers there's actually a little like piece at the side where you can actually uh, put stuff in. So I put this uh, little piece here so you can actually, it, it has better grip for the figure so the figure can now hold it over here if uh, he or she really wants to. And then um, I just attach this on here like so and then uh, yeah it's kind of like a mortar almost. Uh, also, you'll notice back there, oh, hello, Wing. Uh, back there, we've got a health pack. It's just your standard health pack. And, um, yeah, that's it for the Hornet. So let's get on to the figures and other stuff in the set. Okay, here's the figures in the set. All figures are custom, apart from this jackal. And, um, yeah, so let's start left to right. Here we have, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the figures because there's really no need. But um, here we have a Arctic-themed ODST. Uh, the blue visor, obviously, to blend in with the theme, just like the little cyan studs on the Hornet. It's like, it's it's got a really nice shine to it when you move it in the light. I like the way Megablock's done that. And then I've added different uh, wrists, little silver wrists, to blend in, obviously, with the uh, colour scheme. Uh, and then the grey body, grey boots, uh, white uh, all around. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, this shoulder pad here, you may notice, doesn't have the little sort of uh, speckles of uh, stuff in it. But, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to put that in there, because why not? And then, obviously, uh, we have a backpack on the back that I added on as uh, as well. So, there you go. So, uh, moving on to the next figure. Uh, this is the sort of pilot figure for the set. Uh, it looks like an ODST, but it's not. It is an actual pilot. So, the colours used in this are uh, black and white and a uh, little bit of yellow. And uh, obviously cyan for the helmet uh, visor as well. Uh, no backpack on this one because it's kind of hard to fit him into the Hornet with the backpack on. It doesn't really work. But uh, yeah, so that's basically that figure. Oh, let's just set him up. Yep. Uh, oh, by the way, um, you may notice that um, this helmet has the little speckly bits in it. 
and I've added this uh, arm piece here, or little shoulder pad, uh, which also has the speckly bits in it. That's because I wanted to mix and match the armors. So you may notice this, this armor piece, and that shoulder pad should be on this guy. But like I said, they're custom figures, so that's why I, I mixed them up. But I really like the look of this guy especially. But um, yeah, so anyway, then we've just got our standard jackal here. Uh, nothing very special, it's just a jackal. Uh, then moving on to the final one, it's just a customized elite with... Uh, he has parts of Julam Damas, um, which is a figure, covenant figure, uh, from Halo 5, if you don't know that already. Um, he's just got bits of customised armour that uh, Julam Dama had. Obviously not the helmet, because then it would look as if it is Julam Dama, because all covenant elites look the exact same. So, yeah, that's basically all the figures in the set. So let's go into the other little things that uh, you get with this set, and then the weapons. So here's the other four things you get with this set. Starting left to right, you get a standard grey crate with this sticker that I always seem to have in every set on it. Uh, nothing inside, it's for you to put stuff inside actually, for your cargo. And then we just have this uh, long white uh, piece on here, on the top, just to make it fit uh, with the arctic theme, obviously. And then uh, moving next, oh sorry, I just I knocked over that uh, turret. So we have a rock here, silver rock. I just wanted to add a little terrain piece in to the set because there's no actual terrain pieces in the set. So there you go. Then we have this little sort of like box with a vent piece on top. Uh, this actually comes in the Scorpion Sting set. It's one of the little bits sitting on top. But um, yeah, so that little piece. And then finally we've got a uh, plasma turret. I really like the look of these things, uh, like the newer model basically. So um, yeah, that's all you get. Um, as well as uh, all the other stuff. So now I'm just going to show all the weapons in the set because there really is quite a lot. So starting left to right, the UNSC weapons you get with this set is uh, one of the newer version of pistols. Uh, it's a silver grey tone to it. We have the silver and black uh, painted assault rifle and then next to that we have the newer updated version of the sniper rifle without the little bit uh, on the uh, bottom obviously so you can set it up. Uh, the reason for this is because uh, that little part there clips onto the Hornet and uh, I just really didn't want to include a random piece in it as well. So anyway, then we've got the uh, rocket launcher with the little uh, bit added onto it for better grip. Uh, then onto the Covenant weapons we've got a newer version of the Needler, uh, the newer updated version of the Energy Sword which is awesome by the way, and uh, then finally a Plasma Turret which I've went over before but this is still a weapon. So there you go, but then you could argue so was the, the Hornet, but uh, yeah, anyway, because you can detach that uh, turret from the actual, you know, bit down there. Uh, and then finally over here aside, this isn't really a weapon, but I wanted to include it. Uh, it's actually a riot shield, just like the NMPD set, but instead of the black, I've replaced it with silver across there. And uh, yeah, so that is it for this set, guys. So as always, guys, be sure to like and subscribe for more mocks and other videos. Please put suggestions in the comments for any mocks that uh, you may want me to make or any themes. And uh, I'll be sure to give them a go. Also be sure to check out the mocks playlist on my uh, channel or custom sets uh, playlist. And uh, look at all the other past mocks and custom sets I've made. So also, one thing I forgot to do, uh, I'm just going to go over quickly now, is this set would probably cost between, um, ooh, this is a hard option because I know people in the comments are constantly complaining that the price is too high, but Megablocks sell their things at a really high price. So I'm going to go over this, why I have put it at the price I have. I'm actually just sort of making up one now as I go along, but... The Gungus currently is at uh, $9.99 uh, on Amazon. Sometimes it will go up to $14.99. Uh, this is in pounds, by the way, but uh, it, it's somewhere around that in dollars too. So uh, we'll say approximately £10. Uh, then for the figures, obviously if you bought these in a pack, they'd be about £2 each. So um, I'll just make a quick estimate with all the other stuff there. So far that will be around maybe £18, £20, and then uh, with the Hornet as well, it'd be around uh, 25 to £30, so that's around 30 to $35. So there you go, that's, that's how I estimate things. I judge them by the actual things that you can buy in stores, and then just add them all up. So there you go guys. Uh, once again, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.